change the story. <laughs> morning, y'all. It's Monday morning, and I am off. Do we need to get some fuel first, though? I had a great week away with the family. Hope you all had a good week. If you did have any time off at half term, half term here in the UK. Got an interesting swing coming at you today. Guy's struggling from blocks, and he calls pull draws, but we'll talk about that. The house is still being butchered. I am getting out. Someone else can make my coffee today. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good day. Thanks a lot. That is the first bit of fuel needed. Better go and get some of that as well. Everything fueled and I'm out at Dawlish. So today's swing complains of hitting pull draws and blocks or over draws. We can see from his swing he's got a strong right hand grip. So right hand looks under the club. Now this will always, for this player as it seems in the video, make him look like he wants to use the face this way so more turned down to the ground. If he doesn't manage that angle with loads of shaft lean, which you can see from the side angle he does, he actually tries to put a lot of shift across. So he tries to get his body moving a long way this way to handle that angle. Obviously doesn't always balance them, doesn't always win. So we're going to give this player two options. We're going to say, if he wants to hold it this way, we're going to talk about the way he turns, also the way he exits, very high hands, which is going to be very dangerous. Again, that's him trying to handle that angle, which by the sound of it, he isn't. Or we're going to talk about how to move the grip and then some of the other things he'll have to do to make sure that grip works. So first idea, if we're going to keep the grip where it is. This guy's already told me he plays off a decent handicap, so he's obviously got to this standard, which I think is about seven. Not sure if there's a hashtag or not. Using this grip, we could play with this grip and see what happens to this player. If I was going to use your grip, strong right hand, the last thing I would do is keep trying to push club path further right to compensate for the twist that you put in with your grip. I would get my path going straight almost a slightly left which is what you find from often lots of the good strong grip tour players so if i've got a face that's say going to be delivered three close to zero so three left of the target line then i would work on turning so far to the left to move my path to the left say around five out to in to get a little functional fade so for that for me compared to your slide i would be trying to put as much rotation in as possible round left hip things you could do with that make sure left foot's turned out just give that left knee left ankle left hip a little bit of leeway to move even do some practice shots where you stand with your feet say 20 degrees open using your grip trying to get the path left of this face watch how the flight changes and very much notice how the follow through will go more to this position rather than your really high position now this doesn't work for everyone but when you get players who have a bit of speed and ability like you to move this way it gives them more options there's another shot in there it gives them some options of cancelling out a bit of one side as well and even though that might not be factually the best way to play golf i've seen studies where it says it kind of makes no difference if you cancel out one side for me personally knowing that one side of the course is just out of play gives me more confidence on the tee so take this hole for example there's double fairway so you've got the other fairway we're going to come back up on the right gorse on the left last thing i want to be doing is stood here with your grip trying to shove and hold off that high handle with the wind slightly coming off the right knowing that i can go right which is where i'm gonna to have to aim a little bit with the wind off the right i don't want to miss the other fairway and i certainly don't want to overturn it so having a shot where i could aim down the middle and really turn my body as far as i can to the left get that path going left which i always hold it up into that wind and cancel those gorses out would make me feel very happy a left foot turned out feel like you're really opening up your body on the way down even do some swings where you point the face where you want the ball to start aim 20 degrees left with your body and rotate around that 20 degree open feet line and see if you can move that path it helps a lot of golfers
Right, right, talkie now. Doing a little bit of testing with Dan today. So next idea, let's think about right hand grip. I personally, unless you're uber, uber skilled, would like that right hand grip to be not as underneath the club. So you've got to sync your right hand hold up with the face. So normal ideas, you know, kind of uh, first finger, thumb going up somewhere between right shoulder and chin. You'll probably find your right hand grip's a bit fisty, which gets the hands wrapping round, which is why we tend to see it more on the side of the club, so to the right as I look down. Often for golfers, what I say, and they got strong grips, I'm trying to get them to get this feeling of the first finger and the thumb pinching more together, and also to get this first finger kind of more up the side. So coming up over the side of the club rather than it being underneath wrapped around so much. So in effect, right hand more on top. Again, the problem you have, if you get right hand on top, and that will take the club face away on the downswing from being quite so twisted this way. What you're going to do with your movements of trying to slide and hold off and push path out to the right and hold face and high finish. You're going to end up just blocking them. So changing the right hand grip is step one, but you have to do these other parts with it. So right hand grip more on top more rotation on the way through with body like the first point still trying to turn around left foot get that left hip shoulder opening it up into the kind of back into this corner and then at the same time with golfers who have played good golf with strong grips you're managing that face move that way handle forward to balance it out the face isn't twisted that way now so if you keep sliding forward and handle forward you're going to have the face pointing more right than your normal golf shots so feeling on the downswing of getting that head catch up with your hands and almost overtake your hands on the way down so feel like you're casting on the way down getting the club to overtake these kind of sentences make tiny differences to your actual delivered delivery but we're actually only needing tiny differences in your face angle probably two to four degrees difference so just that feeling of catching that head or even overtaking it with the handle with your body turn right grip in place gets a much neutral kind of more neutral shots going on so this way you're going to feel weird in your hands you're going to complain it feels uncomfortable you're going to complain it feels weaker so not as strong you're also going to have to feel that you're turning your body and throwing the club more so it's more thoughts to balance but when you get players balancing these thoughts, they get better height control, better distance control. Certainly left and right misses balance out a little bit better. And then they also get more control of all the clubs. So from a wedge up to a driver. Obviously not every student, but that's the pattern. The pattern is that the student improves wider parts of their game because they're actually starting to present more loft by using these twists differently as well. Let me know if this one helps. Get it within a custom shop distance, don't I? Oh my word! That is so good! Uh, <laughs> what? Did you see that? What have you done there? Did you see that? You've literally missed that. That's gone right through there! Like a yard, not even that. Like yes, please! Don't you dare! Hey Mark, hey. John from across the pond. Hey John. The golf swing has been pretty much the golf swing since they were chucking sheep dung into goofer holes. Is there a more body friendly swing? Last you while you were playing into your 80s, I'm pushing 60. So something that uh, putting club on ball and letting me play for a few more years. Thanks. What a good question. I'm having spaghetti on toast for lunch. Now, look, it's so player specific. When I watch someone like Montgomery, which I was lucky enough to, the end of last year, or the year before last year, so 2016, he's playing the seniors tour, so he's maturing. He was still bending, turning, moving his body. His swing looked, to my eyes, no different to what it did when I used to watch him on telly. And he was still the longest out there, one of the ones I measured out of the seniors playing. So it's gonna be very player specific, isn't it, really? I mean, it's something I would work on 
with your coach, get some lessons, show them your limitations. I think it's always very interesting. When I have students who come to me saying they have certain limitations, often what I find is that they don't actually have them. They just find it hard to get into those positions when hitting a shot because their wrist angles present the wrong loft, so it would make no sense getting into those positions. Does that make sense? So sometimes they can't hit the positions because I think they'd be worse if they did, subject to the angles they're delivering. But I think you might stop twisting less and those kind of things as you obviously get older. I certainly fatigue quicker now than I ever did when playing golf. I mean, playing golf was something I would never fatigue as I remember when I was competing. I mean, I, I'm looking forward to next week I'm going to visit Tight List. And I'm looking forward to spending some time with TPI, which is their kind of initiative that they use for trying to prolong careers around fitness in golf. So hopefully I'll have more information for you. But it's about prevention, I would say, more than just fixing something once it's happened. So continuously stretching, continuously trying to eat and keep yourself fit. It's more of a lifestyle choice, I would say, than it is a golf thing that then reflects to your golf. So is there a movement for your golf swing that's more kind of gameable for a longer period? Not really. But remember, and I think lots of people forget this, you can use appropriate tees to how far you hit the ball. Forget tees of being sex related. Think of it more standard or distance related. Sophie Walker was posting things like this over the weekend on Twitter and she, I totally agree with her. I've been to some countries where it's based on standard rather than what sex you are, what tees you go off. So those kind of things can make your game more enjoyable. I hopefully have a better answer for you once I've come back from TPI next week. Right, this idea really helps people. Like a lot of students over my time of teaching, this idea really helps once they've made that change in that grip. So if they are a player who's suffering from like trying to really hold off high hands, like we see this player really wrestling with what the grip does with their finish. Once you've got that right hand in position, getting them to make some swings where they feel like they're finishing much more around left shoulder. So follow through is coming more this way rather than out and up. Often changes so many things, face the path control and path, just all in one, that one simple sentence. And it might not work for you, and if it doesn't, just give it a go and then drop it if you find it doesn't work. But try and feel like you're finishing much more around left shoulder, so what to you will feel much lower. It's great for getting people to get the handle out as far as possible, then back in towards them. It then allows that club to spin out in front of them a bit more. When they get the handle working this way, a lot more. Gets away from that idea of almost hitting down the line there trying to hit it where you want things angularing, curving as they're hitting the ball. Nothing's really traveling straight. Low finishes, more around their body. Fantastic for controlling face to path and path once you put a different grip in place. I think for you, I'd love to know, post comments or let me know on Instagram if that one works or not. It works for so many. In the comment section, go on. What do you say? Go on. Right, that's it. That's it. Well done. Where are you going? Oh, it's alright for some, isn't it? Ooh. I'm busy. Oh, the room. I want my office back now. That's, that's where me, that's where me office was. Oh, another swimmer I see. Bye. See you all tomorrow. Have a good evening. I don't know what I'm going to do for tea. Again, we haven't had a question of the day. Should we have a question of the day? Here's a question then. What made Tiger miss the cut at the weekend? Down there in the comments. Let's hear it. I didn't get to see much of it. What's your opinions? Why did Tiger miss the cut? Did he play okay? Is there still promising stuff going forwards? I think he's playing again next week. That's only a good thing for him. Didn't Bubba Watson do well? See you all tomorrow.